Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, this week's vlog. Um, yeah, a lot to get through this week. Um, so, plan is, I really want to get the um, bongos painted, so I've got the adult and the juvenile bongo. I really want to get them painted this week because... Um, I want to put them together. So they'll take a bit of time to put together because they've got stripes. So um, the fabric that I'm using is a minky fabric. Um, and yeah, I'll need to sew in the stripe patterns of, on, on the body. Um, but in the meantime, I can paint up um, these pieces. Uh, pretty much got the feet done for the, for the baby bongo as well. So I just sort of modified some caribou feet for... Um, bongo feet or baby bongo feet so yeah that's sort of what I've done um, but yeah I think that'd be cool painting these because they have a little bit of a um, different they've got like a darker snout um, and then like a little pattern across here a little white pattern so it'd be cool to paint something like that they'll turn out really good I still have to sculpt the um, replica horns or antlers for the adult version I'll, I'll leave that till last so last and um, yeah I think I'll um, I've only got one more to sculpt which is the Siddhatanga but I don't know if I'll get that done this week um, I want to start putting some of the dolls together so I think I might focus on that this week um, I mean if I feel like sculpting then I might concentrate on sculpting that last one and then I'll have to obviously sculpt the antlers as well. So that'll be a mold and cast. I'm thinking of maybe offering um, raw casts of them, just depending how they turn out But uh, in the future. But yeah, that's sort of... There'll be a life-size version of these antlers. So um, yeah, just to keep in mind. But I'll go into more detail when I see how they turn out after I sculpted them. Um, so that's that. Uh... I'm not too sure what I want to put together first, whether it's, um, I've got two dolls ready to be put together, which is obviously the penguin, I'm thinking the penguin, um, and also the prairie dog I've got ready to be put together too, so, I mean, they'll be rel relatively straightforward as well, so, um, yeah, I'm thinking maybe the penguin, or, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. Um, maybe I'll do the prairie dog and might I'll have a think about it and see which one's a bit more straightforward because the penguin I've got to make little little flippers as well um, which is relatively new so maybe the maybe the prairie dog I've got the fur right here as well so that should be a bit of a quicker one to put together um, and also because I've got the ferret pretty much done I just have to do um, the eye mask and stuff so I'll finish the ferret and the raccoon off this week um, because uh, I wanted to do the airbrushing and stuff at the same time. Um, I can finish painting off the pupils and stuff for each bat as well, or each flying fox. So that won't take long, um, but I'll probably get that done at some point this week. Um, I've got a lot of a lot of flying fox feet to go through as well, um, and just do like little touch-ups of. Because I, I sort of painted them over, overall pretty quickly. And there's obviously little bits and pieces that I've missed. So I'll go back in and um, like little bits. I don't know if you can see. Little bits and pieces that I've missed on areas. So I'll just go back and um, cover them. So what have we got? Alright, I thought it'd be good to go through um, the colours of the flying foxes. That will be available as well. So um, there'll be six available, I'm making eight, but there's going to be six available, two are obviously the commissions. Um, and yeah, my patrons will get early access to all of them first off, apart from the commissions. Um, so they'll get early access to all six, so if you want um, to jump the queue, then yeah, consider joining my Patreon. And um, yeah, you might obviously get in early to get a flying fox. So the first one, the first one's a brown. And it's got a cream-coloured um, neck. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, it's going to have a brown face, but I've just painted it black. So, um, I'm going to cover it with brown fur. But it's just easier to cover it in a darker colour because not much will shine through. Um, so, that's sort of what it will look like, but with a brown face. Um, yeah, so there's that one. And this one will also have black wings as well. 
Uh, I've got two. One is a commission uh, black with rust neck. One's a commission, one will be available. So I think everyone knows what that one looks like because I've made it before. So it will look like that. Um, and yeah, with black wings as well. I've got, I have a brown with rust neck. So same sort of look. It will have a brown head as well. And it will sort of look a bit like that. Um, so that one will be available. Uh, I have the Ruby Flying Fox. So this one's going to be different. It's going to have a pink body. Um, it's going to be fully pink. Should have probably left this white. Um, so I'm thinking of putting, doing it. I'm not 100% sure about what color I'm going to do the head. Probably pink and I might do some shading and stuff. Um, so it's going to have black wings. I might leave it as a black head because I don't mind that look as well. Um, and it just makes the body like a, a pink body. Um, or I might do it a brown head. I don't know just yet. I haven't 100% um, decided on what I'm doing with that. But yeah, it will have brown eyes anyway. And it also have black wings. So the, by doing the black head, it sort of complements the black wings. Um, but yeah, we'll see. And it's got sort of a dark uh, tips to it too, especially when you sort of fold it close in on each other. It sort of gets a bit darker. So that's the ruby one. Uh, I've got a pretty much the only fantasy sort of one, which is going to be a uh, galaxy, galaxy fox. So it's going to have a black head um, and black wings. And then the body's obviously this purple galaxy type body um so that one will be available this one is uh obviously the commission so this one won't be available but it is a gray body with rust neck and it's going to have the gray face as well um but yeah this one's going to be for the commission so that one so i'm only doing one of those colors as well uh, and the last one is the white flying fox and that will sort of look like this uh brown eyes white body and i gave it a different colored neck it's sort of got the brown tips on it um and that will have white wings um, sort of be a fully white flying fox i didn't want to make it albino um just because i didn't really feel like me <laughs> i just wanted to make a white one rather than an albino one so um yeah, that's why I've left the brown eyes and the dark coloured snout. Uh, so yeah, they're all of the flying foxes that are in the making. Um, but yeah, so the one of the black ones with the rust neck and the grey one with the rust neck, they're the commissions. And then all the rest will be available. Um, and yeah, so that's, uh, that's the ginormous plan for this week. Um, so yeah, quite a lot to get through and I probably won't get through even half of it, but... I could probably start putting together some of the flying foxes because all the wings are done. Um, all I need to do is um, finish the painting, which is, won't take very long at all. Um, and then, yeah, just do the armatures for them. If you want to know how I do the armatures, it's over on my Patreon. Um, i got a whole video on making armatures, not just for the flying fox, but for other dolls too. Um, and that's using the ball and socket armature. Uh, also got a tutorial over there on how I made the wings as well. Um, so plenty of things. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's the plan. Um, I really want to get through it. I really want to get the, I really hope to get these zoo dolls done by this year, but I don't know. Definitely early next year. Um, hopefully in January sometime, but yeah, it's really not that far off. Um. Once everything's sculpted, then putting all the bodies together, don't, wouldn't, it's not going to take that long. It's just the Sidatunga and the Bongos might take a bit more time because they need the stripes sewn in um, on their bodies. So that sewing always takes a long time. But yeah, the Prairie Dog and the Penguin should be pretty quick to finish. Um, so that's the plan. Anyway, I'll um, yeah do some work and uh, catch up with you at some point.
guys. Just a little update. So, so far this week I have sculpted a raccoon dog face for a commission. Um, it's currently baking in the oven so I can't show it to you. But I'll show it to you after it's been baked. Um, and it can handle it a bit more. So I'm thinking of using... Um, I have to compare the sizing. I think they're right. But I'm using these... Um, feet. What are you doing? I'm using these feet for the feet. They're pretty similar to raccoon dog feet. Um, and I prefer using resin feet just because they're a bit stronger. So, yeah, I can w sort of work on that. I'm pretty close to finishing um, the Flying Fox commissions. Uh, it's the black one and the grey one. Um, so, hopefully in the next two weeks or so I can get them done. Um, and also... I can start painting up the uh, two bongos, so I've just primed this one. Needs a little bit of clean up on the eyes again because of the paint. Um, but yeah, I can start painting those. Um, the ferret is done, so I need to take some images of that and also need to take some images of the white raccoon so I can put it up in my shop next week. Um, and yeah, I guess the rest is just working on the flying foxes uh, for the rest of this week. And um, yeah. We'll see what I can get done. Uh, anyway, I'll uh, get to it. Hey guys, I'm gonna end the vlog for today. Um, got a little bit done this week, so I managed to sew up one of the bats, just one, uh, which is the black one, which is the first bat commission that I, um, got for this little collection. Uh, so the next one I'm gonna sew up is going to be the grey flying fox, um, which is the second commission, so I wanted to get those done first, and then I'll be sewing up the white one and then all the rest of them. Um, so I'm hoping the six of them will go up in my shop. Uh, all at once um, but yeah I mean if you want um, early access or you want to purchase one now um, then you get early access over my patreon so it's for all tiers and um, just yeah message me with uh, which bat you're interested in um, and uh, yeah we can chat on there um, so hopefully I'll have them done um, I mean it took a couple of hours to sew up one so it's obviously going to take a couple of days to sew the rest of them. Um, so I'm hoping to have them up this year. Uh, and yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens, uh, how much I can get done. I have a little bit of time, over, time off over Christmas as well. So we'll see what happens there. Um, the raccoon dog that I sculpted... Um, is being baked out of the oven so pretty happy with the way it looks it's got a lot of um character in its face uh it's a smaller doll this time um the customer wanted a smaller doll um than what i n normally make i mean i've made the maned wolf i made was the similar size so uh, it's not like i haven't done it before but yeah that's a little look at what the raccoon dog uh looks like it's not um, exactly a raccoon dog because uh, the customer liked the main main wolf that I sculpted he like they liked the face shape so I tried to incorporate that while still looking like a raccoon dog but yeah I really like the little um, the look that it has in its eyes it, I think it's um, got a lot of character so it'd be pretty cool to um, start adding all the faux fur to the head so I've left it a bit skinnier than because they obviously have big poofy faces um, so I've left it a bit skinnier so I can achieve that with the fur that I'm going to, going to apply to the face. So that's a nice little tip that if you um, sculpt your headpiece a little bit smaller, uh, you can achieve different looks with um, the faux fur that you apply. So the faux fur will be quite long, so it will give it a lot of character and stuff, more of what it looks like to be um, uh, the raccoon dog. So yeah, sculpting video will be coming up in the next couple of weeks and also making the doll will be coming up as well on my youtube for free um yeah so pretty cute glad i got that sculpted this week though um 
I'm just like a bit inundated with uh, commissions and stuff. Um, so hopefully next week I get to paint up the um, the two bongo bongos for the zoo, and hopefully I get to put the prairie dog together as well because that's ready to go. So I think I think I'd like to put the prairie dog together before because that goes with the um, the the ferret that I made because this I think. The ferret hunts these prairie dogs, so um, I'm guessing that's what the zoo's going for. So, yeah, and also the penguin. I'm still undecided of which coloured fur to use because I can't get the exact fur, so it's either a bit too rusty coloured or a bit too light, so I'm trying to decide. I think I'm going to go for the more rusty coloured one. Um, but yeah, so a lot of work for next week. Um, and... Yeah. Anyway, I'll end it there. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me. I really appreciate it. Um, head over if you want early access to any of my work and especially the um, Flying Fox collections. Um, so head over there. You can get early access for as little as $2 in any tier. Um, but yeah, thanks to my patrons for supporting me. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm going to have a new video going up. I think I said it before this month on my Patreon about how to achieve um, better posability with fabrics so um, that's just a quick little tip video that'll go up soon um, and yeah anyway you can check me out on Instagram and Facebook Creatures of Nat uh, and also my shop CreaturesofNat.com um, and I'll catch you in the next one bye